With characteristic ingenuity, I Fagiolini have looked beyond the obvious for their celebration of Monteverde's 450th anniversary, and with it their own 30th, to bring to the public ear what they call the other Vespers, namely not the Vespers of 1610. A collection of vocatively named Selva Morali Spiritual, a moral and spiritual wood, dating from 1641 is the source of these other Vespers. The handful of Fagiolini singers performing them at Brecon Cathedral, under the direction of Robert Hollingworth at the chamber organ, seemed to catapult the past into the present with the immediacy of the experience. There was a single singer to each part and much varying of the number and disposition of the eight voices. Highly individual timbers lent a greater clarity to the weaving of the contrapuntal lines, often imitated in close proximity by two violins and by Gawain Glenton's cornet ornamentation. The Ifagiolini sound, by turns gutsy and refined, and their rendering of Monteverde's sinuous chromaticism, in particular, worked well in the cathedral, with the final salve regina made memorable by Matthew Long's tenor. Vivaldo's concerto The Four Seasons is such obviously familiar territory that it might seem best avoided. But Rachel Podger, director of the Brecon Baroque Festival and her ensemble of the same name, has the knack of breathing new life into the repertoire. She did precisely that, by prefacing each of the concertos with the descriptive sonnets Vivaldi had originally matched to the music. The words were read first in Italian by lutenist Daniele Camoniti, earlier the expressive soloist in Vivaldi's lute concerto RV 230 and then in English by Poggia, and this approach permitted the musical embodiment of the personae and meteorological phenomena to emerge in fresh light. It underlined that Poggia is a musical force her own playing combines élan and finesse, and she galvanizes her fellow players in vibrant, spirited performances. Here again there was just one instrument to a part, to spare a texture for some tastes perhaps, but focusing the character of the musical dialogue, notably with cellist Alison McGilvray. The final season, Winter, was the concerto's true culmination, with keyboard player Marcin Wyatkovich changed to the organ for the slow movement and allegro finale helping to paint colors that set Podge's violin in further brilliant relief. Brecon Baroque Festival Orchestra is at Theatre Braheniog, Brecon, on 30 October. Box Office 01874-611622. Brecon Baroque will be broadcast on BBC Radio 3 on 31 October.